Making things easier for us is a goal in 2019. So in this video, I'm sharing five apps that you all need to install to make using your smartphone pretty much easier for you. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So in this video, I'm sharing the five apps that you all need to install in January 2019. I'll be doing a couple of series on this one. So number one on my list is the button quick settings. Well, dragging the notification bar from the top of your phone, especially when you're using the phone with a wider screen is pretty much something that is very hectic. Now I've got this app here that covers you, that allows you to drag your notification bar from the button over here. Now it comes with a simple design that you can very manipulate. It comes in two sizes, the free version and the premium version. Now if you're using the free version like I'm doing right now, you wouldn't have access to a couple of things like the towels, you wouldn't have access to a lot of stuff over here that I'm showing you right now. You would have access to just a few of them like this one so if you want to get a premium version you can get it in order to use the full version now the sliders here makes it pretty much easier if you drag this thing from here you can see that i have a couple of sliders including the brightness and then the volume the alarm volume and all that stuff you can easily manipulate it you can manipulate your data your synchronization your portrait and your touch your wi-fi and all those things so you don't need to go up to the top of your phone to do that the colors you have to get the premium version if you want to use the different colors and then the handle and the layouts now one thing that i am so much excited about this one is it comes in three uh, themes the default one is the white one you can also have the dark one and also the black one over here so you just have to decide on which one to use setting it up is not all that a big deal you just have to do a couple of allow some permissions in your settings and then you are good to go number two is typing here now have you ever wondered how you copy and paste so many things in a couple of times for instance i am a graphic designer and a lot of people do ask me so many questions online do you make youtube banners do you do this do you do that so it, it occurs as if I reply to same messages over and over time. Now, Typing Hero got you on this. The things that you do type over and over again, you just have to set a keyword for it. And then in the moment you type that one, it just brings it up all for you. For instance, I have this shortcut over here that is um, C-A-R-E-S-P, that is um, Channel Art Response. So basically, if anyone asks me, on instagram that do you make youtube channel i just go to instagram and then the moment i type C A R R E S P, and then i hit on the space bar it just pops it up for me so hello thanks for contacting me and all those long time so you just have to set basically like a keyword that will actually allow you to type a longer message for instance i have also add the t at that is my address if i go to instagram or whatsapp anywhere and then i type c add it just pops out my address for you over there so it saves you lots of time you just have to remember the keyword that is set for your long test setting this one also up is not a big deal you just have to do some permissions in the settings and then you are good to go but then one more thing that i should stress on for example the tr the reason why i add tr to this is that for instance if you are add, typing something like add this to and then your keyword is add it will just bring the the long text inside of it it wouldn't pick the ad so basically you have to add something to it that is why i added t add t plus the ad just to make it like so much easier for me to recognize and to remember number three is adobe spark post well if you are not a graphic designer and if not used to photoshop illustrator indesign on those stuff you don't need to worry about designing something for your instagram feeds adobe spark post has got you. you just have to browse through a lot of templates that if provided for you for instance if you're a businessman a school guy 
or a lifestyle youtuber or basically travel and food you just have to pick one of the templates over here and then you edit it to fit your status i've done some posts over here if you remember this i did this and posted it on my instagram about two three days ago now all that you need to do is after you pick the template like this you go to the edit button over here and then you can add a couple of stuffs to it so when you click on a test here it will pop up something for you and then you can edit delete or duplicate that one so let's go to edit and let's try to add something like okay what i did over the car response and then i press enter so it pops out the hello thanks that is the typing hero that i just talked about so it just popped up the test and then when you take okay over here that is done you click down here and then basically you just you can also replace that one with any test of your choice it's just a matter of deleting it and adding something like this to it and then when you click done you just go here and then you are done and then you can save it from here and when you get to your gallery it will be there waiting for you they have a lot of templates that you can make use of so it's just a matter of you figuring out what you want to do what you want to post and the template that will fit you the best number four on my list is one lyrics well i'm pretty much sure that you are familiar with music match lyrics and some kind of lyrics app but this one here is so much easier for you if you want to get to really learn your lyrics well before i move on one thing that i love about this app is that after you've played the song and it it has captured the lyrics for you it saves it offline so even if your data is not on you can still use it the next time you are really like listening to your song now this is what it does the moment you get into your music player and you select a music probably one that will be recognized to have lyrics so in this case i'm using um better by jessica ready now if you hit on play exactly i have to lower the media volume so if you hit on play and you scroll your notification bar you just have to see that one lyrics has provided um, better by jessica so as the music is playing along you just be reading through your lyrics along with that it is so much simple and afterwards just like i was saying it saves the lyrics for you here so you can just copy it paste it download it if you place your hand on the lyrics that has been saved for you like this you can edit it in adobe uh, microsoft word or any other thing that you so you open it in microsoft word for instance like this if you want to copy the lyrics for somebody on whatsapp um, any social media you can just open it up here and then you can select all of it and copy it to anywhere you want to copy it it's so simple and the fact that you can use it offline once you view it with a data for for the first time it saves offline for you to use it a couple of times is so awesome and then you need to try it out last on my list is insta save i've done a video on this um, previously ago basically saving videos and pictures from instagram sometimes most people do screenshot it it's not a bad idea screenshotting it but most of the times you don't get the full resolution of the picture you needed so insta save has got you on this one all that you have to do is you open the app like i open it over here and then you click on the camera button over here so it opens instagram for you and it, it will open from the last feed you were so all that you need to do is tap on the three dots over here and then you go to copy link so the link will be copied for you and then when you get back to your insta save like instant save i mean it will be loading for you and then you just have to wait for it to load and that is the picture that we just copied so all that you need to do is to click over here for you to save to your gallery and then when you get to your gallery it will be there waiting for you as simple as that so it will be first in the gallery that you see so this is it it's as simple as that it does also for videos and some couple of stuffs like that 
So those are my five apps that you need to install in January. I'll be doing a couple of these series for every single month. I'll be doing it probably in the beginning and my best apps in the end of January also. So if you're not subscribed yet, you might want to subscribe so that you wouldn't mix any of this. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll get back to you with another one. It's Innocent here. Bye.